Here we have Kevin preparing his pack for the trials. It's always the hard way. It's a nice balmy 13 degrees. Guess we'll be heading in that direction first, out to the mineral springs. Some frozen waterfalls up here on our right. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I like it. Just, just starting to know. Here we are at the Frankfurt Mineral Spring. I believe it's warmed up a little bit to about 17 degrees. See some of the nice ice formations. About two more, two miles into our adventure, coming up to a little switchback by a nice little stream here. Temperature's gone up a couple degrees. Absolutely. Let's see if I can do a smiling photo of myself. Got it. Trekking down the trail. All right, we're gonna make our travels onward and see about grabbing some lunch. Here we are hiking along the lake here. As you can see, it's still a little bit icy. There's the dam. We've got some people walking in the distance. It's not the only people too crazy to go outside today. Kevin still looks like he's headed into the Arctic. <laughs> a little steep descent here with some ice. We're going to see if Kevin makes it. Down to the stream here. Kevin made it. Let's see if I can make this. Watch that ice. Oh, piece of cake. It's actually warmed up a fair amount on our trip. Last check of the thermometer says we're up to about 22. And here we have a nice little stream as well. That's the Boy Scout troop that was quite interesting a little while back. <laughs> All right, here we are approaching our campsite for day one. Time's about three hours, I want to say, Kevin. I think so. Yep. Coming up on this thing here. It's still a little bit cool. Pretty sure uh, we're going to be able to find some nice firewood, though. Kevin made a small journey back the trail. Maybe just early. an extra mile. It's all right, I got to take a little break when that happened. Oh yeah. Over here we have our group tenting area. I believe it says Blackfeet. A couple picnic tables if we need wood later. <laughs> hey, let's meander up here and see what we can see. Check out these shelters and this is kind of where we came from. I told Kevin it was about a tenth of a mile, more like a mile and a half. He seems to be okay with it at this point. Let's see what kind of facility we have here. Hey, someone was nice enough to cut us some firewood. That would be nice too. Sure would. Here 
Here we have some restroom facilities. I'm gonna venture back here to the Pioneer backpacking area. This is where the uh, fun part of the campground is, I've heard. Let's see if we can find a, a decent site back here. A little bit of firewood, I see. You can scavenge that. And uh, here it is. Looks like we got picnic tables. Perfect. That's perfect. Got a nice little fire pit here. Some benches. Fire pit back there. Oh man, they got a grill. Yeah. This isn't even like backpack. table? I think the question is, Kevin, what do you think? So as luck would have it, we actually chose the campsites that aren't really ours. So we've loaded up our gear and we're going to head another couple hundred yards down the trail. That way. Here we go. Pioneer backpacking sites. Let's go this way. This is going to be pretty awesome to turn this into a full-length feature film. Maybe it's pretty neat. I must say. And look at this. This is the official campsite number one. The exact place we're supposed to be. Brand new fire pit. No picnic table, but we don't need them anyways. Alright, we're going to get working on some lunch and a fire. Hopefully we'll talk to you later. Here we have Mr. Petraco's experienced fire building. Never fails. So we spin around here we have Camp Petraco set up. Camp Rogers over here. Pretty nice and clear. Got a little music kicking. There's part of us that believes this might be the last footage anybody sees of us. <laughs> no, we're just kidding. But it is pretty awesome out here. We got the little, I don't know if I showed anybody, but we got the little huts here you could stay in, the little three sided shelters for people that don't have hammocks, I guess. The steak's starting to, it's starting to drip a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Kevin, would you assume the steaks are cooking well? They're, they're looking fantastic. Steak and potatoes. It's about 9.30 at night. Probably, what, 15 degrees last time we checked? Yep. Feeling pretty good. Got a little fire kicking, little steaks and potatoes. Nice little snack before we go to bed. Kevin's warm. Pretty seems, good. Seems surprising, given his earlier situations. I think we're going to have a good night. Like I said earlier, this may be the last transmission of our lives. All right, so we're here by the fire. Uh, just made some steaks and potatoes. Kevin, how were the steaks and potatoes? It was the best thing we've ever done camping ever. The potatoes were unbelievable. They were, they were juicy and perfectly done, and the steaks were absolutely awesome. 
So we got a nice little fire rocking. Got a little music over there, I'm sure you can't see. A little lantern. Haven't really checked the temperature lately, but we feel it's safe to assume that it's probably around 15. Yeah, here we'll but, do. But yeah, why don't we do that, Kevin? Let's want to do a temperature check. Let's mosey over here and do a temperature check. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick this up, but it is 20, 14, about 14 degrees. Huh. So we're still rocking pretty warm. Might make some coffee. See what it gets down to up here. But we have a nice fire and a bunch of hammocks. So talk to you later. Well, it's Sunday morning, about 8.30. Uh, woke up about 5.30. I'd guess it was... Mm, as best we could tell it was around zero so probably at some point before that it was down to I don't know, maybe negative five or so so at that point we decided to get out of the hammocks for a little bit restoke the fire made a little tea tea was good and then we uh, proceeded to lay back down for a nap for a couple hours but we've got our fire going couple eggs that are well froze solids. So we're gonna try and unfreeze those so we can make some breakfast. And then with the sun up, I think we're gonna enjoy a nice hmm, four or five mile walk out of here. Get us back to our cars where we can warm up and maybe get a cheeseburger on the way home and call it a day. So here we are, two and a half miles later on Sunday. The track is still with us. How's it going? I think if we look right up there, should be able to see the car, which means we made it. That's always a good thing. Yeah, it was a little chilly, but just makes us appreciate the warmer weather even more. 